but I didn't say that on air. I hoped it wasn't an inside job. It's definitely an inside job in the end of the fact that they're letting it leak and not fixing it and blocking locals from protecting themselves to, to expand federal control, to expand federal and international precedent, to expand corporate governance precedent where BP is in control of the whole operation. And overall, it's a political distraction from what's happening in the economy. And I'm going to cover this more when we start the next hour as we've got a guest coming up on GMO foods and new studies showing that it's uh, causing massive redu reductions in fertility and uh, deformities and total sterility within three generations. But look at these headlines. This is what they're trying to distract from. Tax hikes and the 2011 economic collapse, the Wall Street Journal. That's the Wall Street Journal. Tax hikes and the 2011 economic collapse. And government knows when they raise taxes, less money comes into the Treasury because it shuts down the economy. Kennedy cut taxes by 50% in one tax bracket. Dr. Roberts pointed out it was only 35% in one bracket. Oh, I'm sorry. Only 35% cut for one group, but 50% uh, for poorer people, uh, less wealthy. And tax receipts doubled. Uh, of course, California raised a bunch of taxes and their economy completely went into cardiac arrest. Of course, New York passed more taxes and they went into cardiac arrest. Of course, Florida packs, passed more taxes and they went into cardiac arrest. Of course, Michigan passed more taxes. They went into cardiac arrest. Uh, they keep calling Rick Perry this big conservative. I'm paying three new taxes as a business owner, as they call me here in Texas, a supposedly tax-friendly state. And, yeah, people are fleeing here because we're not raising taxes as fast. That's what the global government's about, nowhere to run. So tax hikes and the 2011 economic collapse. They want it to collapse. We have their own documents, just like the Timberwolf documents from Goldman Sachs. Today's corporate profits reflect an income shift in 2010. These profits will tumble next year, preceded most likely by the stock market. And they admit the big bankers and the big money are making record profits. Everybody else is going to hell in a handbasket. Doctors, lawyers, school teachers, cops, firemen, auto mechanics, Farmers, ranchers, retail workers, your pay's way, way down or you've lost your job. Not the bankers, not the filthy scum. They're sucking every drop of blood out of us they can. Here's another one, investment banker. It's going to get nasty. Buy land, barbed wire and guns. That's CNBC, up on Infowars.com. I mean, folks, this isn't Alex Jones saying this, though I've been telling you this for years. It's now mainstream media. We'll be back. Stay with us. Oh, thank you, New World Order. That's really friendly of you. Well, what a nice group of people. Uh, again, eugenics is everything. I, I don't want to talk about the oil spill. I mean, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's screwing up things for people in the Gulf. But if the government wasn't using more toxic chemicals to disperse the oil that are hundreds of times more toxic than the oil that's biodegradable, this wouldn't be happening. They'd have set the oil well on fire day one. It'd just be dissipating. But you can't have carbon dioxide. It's so deadly. What do you think forest fires or volcanoes put off? Now they want to nuke it. In fact, before we go to calls, let me play this nuke clip. Uh, this is a, a clip uh, from Fox News. And about a week ago, they started talking about uh, using, using nukes. Yes, let's uh, detonate a nuke on the ocean floor that will radiate uh, the food we're going to be eating. See, when you detonate a nuke down low... Uh, below the ground or at ground level, it then combines with metals and other isotopes and creates extremely radioactive uh, uh, you know, variants. You can go look into the science yourself if you'd like, but you know, that's why a dirty bomb nuke, they would jacket it, say, with uh, cobalt, and then it you know, makes it a dirty bomb where the radiation is many, many times more deadly than, say, a clean, so-called clean airburst at, say, 2,000 feet of a 50-megaton uh, hydrogen weapon coming in from orbit after it's dislodged from its MERV uh, coupler. So they want to detonate a nuke down there, which could open up a giant oil fissure and, and, and make it even worse. Uh, and they use some Russian film example from the 60s where they... Uh, destroyed a gas well that had been burning for a year. This isn't some gas well pluming and burning, burning at the surface, which is not a problem. 
uh, putting off carbon dioxide that plants breathe greedily, snapping it all up, uh, part of the life cycle on this planet. This is oil and gas going into the Gulf of Mexico. So here's that Fox News clip. Is this the solution of the BP oil leak? That's a great idea. That's right. Nuke it. Some scientists do advocate this. The Soviets apparently succeeded in doing it. Here is the video they say actually shows it. And now some at Forbes agree, nuke it. Hi, everybody. I'm David Asman. Welcome to Forbes on Fox. Here today, we have Mr. Steve Forbes, who, as you can see, had to wrestle Quentin Hardy for that seat in San Francisco. <laughs> Rich Carlgaard, Lizzie McDonald, Neil Weinberg, and Stefan Fitch. So, Rich, I got to say, I'm a skeptic here, but nuke it? Well, David, this is the kind of option you really have to put on the table. Why? The leak has been going for almost seven weeks. 500,000 gallons of oil a day. Tar balls are showing up on the coast of Florida. The only surefire option to stop this is a relief well, which is 10 weeks away. That uh, that's enough. The August hurricane that's season. enough of these idiots. I mean, give me a break. And what is this new Vanity Fair thing Fox has got where, where like celebrities sponsor their own shows? Um, Boy, I met Steve Forbes at a Republican function, function in Dallas once. That was what they're taking photographs for in college. And let me tell you, what a, what a fruit box. I mean, what a fruitcake. This is who rules us, is these type of mad scientist nerds. And the mad scientist nerds uh, that are jacking with your food and messing with the atmosphere, geoengineering, they want to set a nuke off in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Uh, look at how the Pacific Islanders did at Bikini. Most of them died within five years of having that uh, hydrogen bomb detonated 10 miles from them. Yeah, let's uh, let's don't do it and say we did, okay? And, and they're running around, oh, look, some tar balls. It's the end of the world, you know, hyping it. and uh, uh, Look at tar balls. Uh, and, and it's bad for the fisheries, and it's bad. But there's microbes in the ocean that are going to eat that oil naturally occurring. There's natural oil plumes when they have earthquakes sometimes that have started up. What do you think the La Brea tar pits are in Los Angeles? It's natural. It's not a good thing. And I'll tell you again, I've read on the news the acid chemicals they're using to disperse the oil are horrible compared to the oil itself. So, I, look, I'm done ranting. I said I'd take your calls. Uh, it's just... They're trying to normalize the, the use of nukes. You know, they call them, oh, we've got many nukes now that are no big deal that we're going to use against Iran. You know, they just des destroy a four or five square mile area and penetrate down about 400 feet uh, to destroy some of the deepest bunkers. Well, yeah, but anyone who's researched nuclear weapons, even a cursory research, knows that nuclear weapons that hit the ground throw up a bunch of radioactive dust and clouds and combine to create deadly isotopes with all the surrounding metal. So you nuke a nuke base full of uranium and plutonium just when they use DU. That is nothing compared you know, to souped up uh, plutonium and uranium. Radiation detectors all over the world pick it up. Do you like breathing it? The globalists have a death wish, ladies and gentlemen. They're a bunch of psychopathic lunatics. Ah, but I hear the good old boys. You know, to be an American man, you hand over everything to the bankers, you bend over to the IRS, you sell out your property rights, but you, you talk about nuking, nuking Arabs and saying parking lot. I hear parking lot. Again, I think I'm in, my head's going to explode. Hey, y'all just nug all them people. <laughs> oh, it's not fair to do southern accents. I am a southern slash Texan, kind of the gateway to the West. Some people say Texans really aren't southerners. I think we're both, but proud of my southern heritage, but I do have to hear that from time to time. Uh, but I have heard, you know, the good old Yankees. I tell you what we need to do, Rush. We need to just nuke the entire region. That's the way we handles it. Okay, there. Now we've been fair. 